Hey guys, it's so nice to have you back on Burger Beast Day. For those of you who are new to this channel, I'm Kripa and nutrition is my jam. A lot of times my clients ask me if their kids should be eating the same foods they do. And the answer is really simple. Children, once they can eat solid foods, should largely eat the way you eat, provided you're eating a lot of natural stuff and not a lot of stuff that's made by a human in a factory far away. I personally don't believe that adults, let alone children, should get onto restrictive meal plans because it sets a very negative relationship with food. Children are impressionable and the eating patterns they develop in their childhood sets the foundation for life, inclusive of a healthy metabolism and brain development. Today, diabetes and even obesity rates are skyrocketing amongst children given that they're consuming largely sugar-rich and nutrient-deficient diets. In fact, children today are spending so much time plowing through bags of processed foods while seated in front of the TV instead of spending time with their families consuming healthy meals or even taking charge of their health and spending time in the kitchen learning how to cook. But there's good news, you only need to make a few changes to ensure that your child is living a whole and healthy life through nutrition and ensure a lifetime of pleasurable eating. It does not have to be an overnight makeover. You want to start by taking things really slow. Introduce one food at a time and track how your child is responding to it. Try to avoid giving your kids stimulants like caffeine as well as common triggers like sugar. For example, if I take 7 glasses of water, I start by adding 1 tablespoon to the first, 2 tablespoons to the second, and in the seventh one I add about 7 tablespoons of sugar. If the child is accustomed to having that last glass which is extremely sugar loaded, you're only sharpening his sweet tooth. He will never settle for anything less. That's your sugar threshold. It's also extremely important to make your child feel included because this helps develop a strong sense of identity. Small changes that can really help is giving them the choice of illusion. For example, you can ask them whether they want broccoli or carrots. That way, you're giving them the choice but they're still consuming their vegetables at the end of the day. But most importantly, lead by example. Because if you're someone who's telling your kids to ditch sugar, play a sport and be active and doing the exact opposite, you're not setting a very good example. So that's it for today guys. If you like what you see and want to stay updated with the latest fitness, nutrition and health tips, like and subscribe below. Until next time, keep beasting.